Lovely like. <laughs> I'm running out of options. I have to pee. <laughs> I'm gonna jump straight into this. We're doing a St. Patty's Day look today. I'm running out of recording options. We're sitting on the floor in the bathroom. Um, if it's a little uh, weird on the sound here, I apologize. This is where we're at. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start this off by saying I don't know um, what I'm doing. We're just gonna go with the flow. We're just gonna throw some crap on my face. I kind of have a general idea of what I want to do. But, and uh, don't mind the skin, that uh, certain time hit and my skin was just like, <laughs> let's get into this. I'm going to throw some primer on my eyes and bring in a little closer. So basically, to start out this whole thing, I went through and I put some eyelid primer on. I am using the Morphe um, Translucent Eye Primer. And I just set that with a uh, loose powder. I use the Coney Airspun powder. Um, you can use whatever products you like to use on your own face. But I also like to use um, just some basic scotch tape um, to help with the shadows and eyeliner and everything else. Um, you don't have to use these, obviously, if you don't like to use liner or anything like that. You don't have to. But I find these to be extremely helpful when placing eyeshadow and eyeliner. So I basically had the idea to um, place a little shamrock sticker on my eyelid and do a kind of silhouette effect, I guess, with some little shamrocks on the lid. Yeah, maybe something kind of like that that might not work that well. We'll see. I really have no idea how well these are gonna work. I'm trying to get them to kind of form to the skin. This is gonna go, either gonna go really well or really bad. I might do a test run on one eye first before I do the other. So to start this off, I'm gonna go in with the Sour Shade in the Jeffree Star um, Jawbreaker palette. You can use any green shades that you want for this. I'm not going to sit here and plug palettes and tell you that you have to use certain colors or cer certain shades or anything like that. Especially plugging a brand that I don't necessarily uh, totally love and support anymore so we're gonna start out with this kind of minty grassy iris kind of green this would probably be much easier with smaller stickers but at the same time these are the only Shamrock stickers I have. Next, I'm gonna go in with a darker green shade. This is the shade Flying Saucer in the Alien palette. Again, though, you can use any shade that you want. You don't have to use a shade exactly like this. I have not tried uh, recording anything up close and personal like this, so I really hope that it is working out well. So on the lid, I want to do kind of a green into gold into shiny white glittery, something kind of going on. So what I'm going to do is go in with a more sparkly green to kind of fill in the rest of my lid. I 
I am trying quite hard to keep you guys in focus, but I'm at a super weird angle. Next, I'm going in with a gold shade to kind of finish off the lid area here. So now I've got this gold shade kind of popped in here. I like to bring it up, fan it out, make it bright and wild and pretty, and just blend it into that green. And then I'm going to go in with Filthy Rich in the Thirsty palette. And I'm gonna pop that on just a little bit over that just to give it a little more shine. Really quickly, I'm gonna throw some liner on the back end here so I can take off this shamrock sticker and see what we have going on, cause we don't know. It might work, it might not. <laughs> I like to use a black gel liner. You can use whatever type of eyeliner you like to use or no eyeliner at all if you don't like to use eyeliner. Really wanna make sure this stays fo in focus and that you guys can see what I'm doing. trying to be super careful so I don't move the sticker. I don't know if I'm actually achieving anything, but if I am, props to me. Okay, kind of a moment of truth. Let's go ahead and take off the shamrock and <laughs> see how well this worked or didn't. I mean, it did, but it didn't at the same time. That's pretty cute, but we might need a little, do a little something something going on here. Cause she got a little, a little messed up. I think I kind of did something there, maybe a little. <laughs> That's honestly like super cute. I guess it kind of worked. Oh, I forgot to highlight my brow before taking the sticker off. Okay, so very quickly I'm going to just kind of hold the sticker on there and use the shade Lucky Clover from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that beautiful shiny green shade. Realistically, you can use whatever kind of color you want. Cool, that just dumped highlighter everywhere. <sighs> oh yeah, this is going to end so well for me. I think I kind of got it on there. All right, now that I kind of have that clover pretty much done and the eyeshadow that I like basically laid, I'm gonna finish off um, a little bit of eyeshadow in the inner corner area. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna actually go in and use some of this e.l.f. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that silver liquid shadow from e.l.f. Uh, in the shade Bling Bling and just lightly tap it in towards the inner corner area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyeliner on the top portion. That was a lot. Kind of blending that silver in just a little bit to kind of help with that gold transition. I'm at a really bad angle for this. Now that I have kind of the basic idea going on with this look, I'm gonna go through and do it to the other eye off camera really quick, cause this is a pain. Well guys, I think I actually managed to kind of get the other side done. Um, it does not look as good maybe as this side, 
but I'd say not too bad for having some old stickers and just doing something I didn't know if I could even achieve in the first place. So next I'm going to go in and prime my face and just throw the face stuff on. We're gonna finish up this look. So to start out with my face, I'm gonna start by putting on this primer, which is from First Aid Beauty. It is a moisturizing primer. And I did wash my skin prior to filming, so this is all clean face going on here, except for whatever fallout I might have had from my eyeshadow. I only use a little bit of this. A little bit of this stuff does go a long way. Next, I'm going to go in and actually put more primer on. I know, you're probably like, ugh. This is the blur stick from Makeup Revolution. And I like to use this especially around my nose, chin area, forehead, just for uh, some really good pore filling. So now that we have the skin all primed up and ready to go, I'm going to go in with some foundation and a tiny bit of some Tarte concealer. This stuff does not really match my skin tone. I'm a very red pink person due to my background, but that's also a reason why I really love this foundation because red pink undertones. And believe it or not, this is actually one of the worst breakouts I've had in quite a while. And I, of course, had to have it happen right before filming. If we're crusted and busted, mind your own business. Okay, I didn't like fully blend that out entirely, because uh, I'm gonna kind of use it as a base to lay the foundation over. And I'm somebody who doesn't really like to wear a lot of foundation or face products in general. It's like, eyes are one thing, dealing with having to scrub this crap out of your pores all the time. It ain't it, sweetie, it is not it! And you guys are probably going to be able to really see a difference between um, this foundation and the foundations I've used in the past, where they just did not match my skin tone. This is the Concealing Glow from Makeup Revolution in the shade F4. This foundation is supposed to be a, like, medium to full coverage. I'm assuming full coverage if you, like, layer it up. I don't like layering it. I don't like having it thick. That's why you can still see the acne spots. Next, I'm just going to go through and add some contour to this fist. And then I'm going to be setting my face um, with this Makeup Revolution Loose Powder. It is the Conceal and Fix in Light Pink. So while I have setting powder on my face, I like to go through and um, just put a little bit of shadow underneath the eye. That way if there's any fallout, it'll just brush off. So for the under eye, I'm actually going to use the same shades Shower, Shower, Sour, and Flying Saucer underneath the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go through and brush all of this off and I will finish powdering my face with another loose powder. This is from Physician's Formula. I actually might have to take a quick break because my camera's about to die, but I'm going to go through with some highlighter to finish off the rest of the face and then we're gonna continue on. I'm gonna do my brows off camera really quick. Um, I like to start them out with the Makeup Revolution um, soap brows. You can use whatever kind of product you like to use to style your brows and then fill them in with a little bit of brow pomade and then we can move on to the lashes. Okay, we are back at it again. If you can't tell, I went ahead and added some glitter into the clover with a little bit of lash glue and the green glitter um, that I got from Stay Golden Cosmetics. If you want to check out a video I have on them reviewing some of their products, you can go ahead and check that out. But yes, we have the highlighter on, we've got the 
eyebrows done and now we're just gonna go in with some lashes I'm just using some basic lashes that I got from Shein. Um, if you want to check out the video that I did um, reviewing some products from Romwe and Shein, I also have a video on that. I already went and curled my lashes to prep them to put these lashes on, and I'm going to go and do that really quickly, and we will be right back. Okay, so I have just gone through and finished the lashes and added some mascara. The lash glue I used is the Duo Lash Glue in the little green bottle. And the mascara I used was the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I actually got it um, from a little birthday bag thing. And so it's all sparkly! So to finish off this look, I'm going to set my face with some of the Makeup Revolution, again, setting spray. This is actually a cannabis infused setting spray. It's supposed to be a uh, calming. I'm gonna need about 16 more bottles. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along on this journey with me today to do this makeup look. Um, it was very spontaneous, very random. I have no idea what I was doing. I'm glad it turned out as it did though. It was um, better than I kind of anticipated it going. So thank you uh, for coming along with me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed this eye look. I definitely really enjoyed recording this, kind of, not really, but I am glad that I finally got to get in a makeup video. I haven't gotten to do one in so long, um, other than the one that I did back in Christmas, but it was nice to actually do a look versus doing an unboxing. So. Again, if you would like to check out some of the products that I used, I do have some reviews up on my channel if you would like to look at those, um, including the green I used on the clovers. We've got the green going on in my hair. We've got the green eyes. We're ready for St. Patrick's Day. Sort of, kind of, I guess. But thank you guys again for tuning into this video. I hope you all have had a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. And stay tuned for March's Bark Box. If you haven't seen that one, it'll be up. Check it out if you haven't seen any of my other unboxing uh, Bark Box videos. They are super cute. Check out my dog Ollie, he is adorable. Stay tuned for that, but I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye guys.